Welcome inside Anaheim Ice, where the Ducks are holding their conditioning camp. Their new draft picks and some unsigned free agents are here. Welcome inside. I'm Jonathan Camus, being joined by our Ducks beat writer, Eric Stevens, and our playoff beers are in full effect. <laughs> they're eternal. The playoff beers are eternal, I think, with us. <laughs> okay, maybe Save not. Save them, and they'll come back in a couple minutes. So, <laughs> All right, maybe not. All right, Eric, some of the two guys I thought looked most impressive today were Etem and Devontae Smith. Yeah, no, certainly. Uh, they're uh, yeah, Emerson Etem and uh, Devontae smith uh, they're, they're They're two of the uh, Ducks' uh, top draft picks from uh, last year. Uh, they're going to be both coming into uh, uh, you know this season, uh, maybe fighting uh, for positions uh, with the big club. Uh, the, I would say right now that you know that they have outside you know shots uh, at it. There will be some openings in the fall. Uh, Emerson Adam, a, a, a goal scorer, a, a sniper in the highest order, great skating ability, great moves. Devontae Smith Pelly, Smith Pelly, he gives you some edge uh, to go along with this game. He's uh, more of a guy that fights to get to the net. Uh, more of a two-way player. So, like I said, they, they, they're both, uh, you know, pretty high in their development, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do in the fall. Yeah, hopefully uh, we get to see some great things out of them. So we're talking about the Ducks' future, but now let's talk a little bit about the Ducks' past because two prominent members of the Ducks organization retired recently. We'll start first with Todd Marchant. Yeah, Todd Marchant, uh, you know, seven, 17 seasons in the National Hockey League. I mean, that is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, and, uh, you know, especially for uh, a guy, um, you know, who you know, came into the league, a seventh-round draft pick, uh, maybe an undersized uh, guy playing against the Giants there on the ice or whatsoever. Uh, used, uh, you know, used his great speed throughout his career. Became a, uh, a great penalty pick killer. Did a lot of uh, did a lot of the things that you don't see, you know, necessarily on the score sheet. Um, that really contributed uh, to, uh, to team success. And another uh, shocking uh, retirement yesterday, Paul Correa. Now, uh, growing up watching the Ducks, he was the star. He was the go-to guy. He was the franchise. Mixed emotions now about Paul Correa after what he did leaving the Ducks. But all in all, Eric, uh, I, I've seen some comments on the blog. It seems like uh, some fans have some fond memories of him. You, you can't deny what he did uh, during his uh, nine seasons with, uh, with the then Mighty Ducks. Uh, you know, like you said, he was the franchise's first superstar. Uh, and then, of course, when Tame Solani came on board uh, with the trade from Winnipeg, uh, those two were, you know, maybe are, are, you know, arguably one of the best uh, duos in the National Hockey League and the tremendous chemistry that they showed. You have to feel bad for the fact that you know, his career is cut short by the concussions that he's, yeah. that he's suffered uh, or, or whatsoever because he truly was a super talent. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Thanks to the Iceman Komet for uh, giving us all his knowledge. We'll see him later on in the season. I'm Jonathan Camus, and thanks for watching.